Hi, I'm Lois and I make stuff. I'm an artist, writer, and songwriter. I started this YouTube channel because I wanted to share with you some of my art and ideas and show you a little bit about what's going on here in St. Charles. Today I'm going to show you how to cut a poncho. Hello, Lois here. Um, okay, so today's project is working on this imaginary butterfly, purple butterfly dress. I want to, I want to get this ready to go to sell for my exhibit next week, which uh, starts September 1st at the Missouri Artists on Main, and I want to get this done. So I'm trying to figure out how to cut it. I'll show you what it looks like here. Here is the back of the dress, and I'm trying to decide whether to, not, to make this into a dress or a rowana. I'm going to start by trying to make it a dress. This is the back of the dress. This is the butterfly side. And if you remember watching me actually paint this, the left side of the butterfly wings is a little bit shorter and has a smaller margin between the edge of the wing and the uh, selvage end. So I'm going to start by evening this out. I'm going to take off about an inch and a half on this side in order to get it evened up. It's also a little bit long, even for me. I am a 2XL. So we're going to start there. And then after that, we'll cut a neck hole and uh, see how it looks as a dress. What I have here is a pattern that I got. Simplicity 8419 and it's a so it's only sizes extra small to extra large and of course I'm like I said I'm a 2XL and we're going to start large and work smaller and see see what size we have finally arrive at. I don't think I'm going to use this pattern because it's cut in sections and it has seams up the front and the back. And you can see there's a seam here and then there's a seam on the shoulder seams. I want this to be one fluid piece if I can manage that. So I'm kind of going to wing it and see see what looks good. So I'm going to cut off the seams first. Then I'm going to find the center of the dress and cut the neck hole and see how that looks. If the neck hole is not sufficient and it looks like a big burlap orange piece hanging off my body, then I may cut the front open to make it look like a Rowana. So that's where we're going to start. So the nice thing about cutting with silk, cutting silk or um, silk fabric is that you can just nick the silk and tear it. And it will tear along um, the weave of the silk. So since I've worked this, I haven't really worked this I've worked this straight across, so I'm going to cut probably about an inch and a half off of this side. And I want to work, make sure that I start on the butterfly side so I don't cut off any of my butterfly. So I'm going to put a small nick on the end of the fabric with my special fabric scissors. And then I just tear, I hope for the best. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so here's ah! Okay, here's here's my butterfly now. See how that works? Isn't that beautiful? It sure beats having to having to cut the whole, entire fabric with your scissors. So now I've got a little better centered. I actually probably should have taken off a little bit more on this side, but I think I'm all right. Okay. 
we're good. Okay, so that's a little bit better um, for my arm span. I have short arms. I'm short and pudgy. Um, for my arm span, I think this will work okay. Um, okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is find the center of this piece. And so at some point I'm going to hem it, but right now I just want to find the center of the dress. So I folded it in half and folded it in half again, and this is my center, which is actually kind of where my lines sort of converge here. So I can um, cut a little bit of this off. So I'm going to show you how I do that in a second. If you notice that I have this salvage end, and you can see here, it this won't work for for hand rolling the hem so I decided to pull all this off and then even it up a little bit on both sides so that the butterfly is fairly centered and it fits fits my arm span I have short arms um, but I think this will work and my idea for this dress was kind of selfish I wanted to I wanted to make something that was kind of orange and harvesty for a Halloween but uh, a little bit unique and not do like a stupid pumpkin or something something tray like that. So I decided to do the psychedelic butterfly. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. It's kind of for me. I may make copies of it. We'll see how it goes. So, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, now this is the back, is find the center of the fabric. So I folded it in half. My hems are matched at the bottom. And I'm going to fold it in half again. So my, my dead center is right here. And this is where I'm going to start to cut my neck hole. I've got to fold it in halves and then fold it in halves again. So this is the exact center of my where my neck hole should be. When I make my ponchos, I do a, a 54-inch square piece of fabric which I hem but I find the dead center and then I cut a neck hole. Usually my neck hole when I fold it on the half should be about the two and a half inch mark and then yeah the two and a half two two inch mark we're gonna make it two and a half and then we're gonna do uh, three inches on this side we'll start no, we'll do three and a half here. Okay, so my neck hole is going to be like this to start off with. And if I don't cut off, cut off enough, that's okay. I can always cut off some more. But you can't put it back once you take it off. So we're going to start like this. Double check, measure twice, cut once. Three and a half. Two and a half. Okay. And then I'm going to eyeball it and start from there. So we're going to just going to cut an arc. All right, that's not going to work. So here's the back of the fabric, and I started to cut but I wanted to show you exactly what I was doing here. I found this center of the fabric. So I folded the fabric lengthwise in half and then I folded it widthwise in half. And I'm cutting off a section of fabric that measures two and a half from the corner. And it needs to be five inches. I'm not sure what I was thinking. So this needs to be five inches. And then we're gonna cut an arc like this. This is going to be our neck hole, and if you if you're gonna if you, you're better to underestimate than overestimate because you can't put it back once you cut it off. So you use your very sharp scissors and kind of cut an arc here. And so you can see, this is my neck hole right here. So this is how.
how the Rowana looks, or it's not a Rowana, I guess it's going to be a dress. I am actually really pleased with how this part of it turned out. So it's going to be poncho. Um, I think it looks cool. Um, I've got the neck hole cut out, and I decided that I'm not going to cut a seam down the front, even though I considered doing like an uneven seam based on where the, the lines are. Um, the... The, the arm span is great for me, and this is how the butterfly looks on the back. So we're going to do a poncho. We may do some uneven seams down at the bottom uh, to just to kind of mix it up a little bit, create some asymmetry here, and make it look psychedelic. Well, I think this looks cool. Um, I, I'm going to look forward to wearing this for, if I don't sell it, at the exhibit, um, I'm going to wear it for Halloween. It's a poly, it's a, not poly, it's silk crepe de chine. And it's a very thick mummy um, crepe de chine. So it's almost like a knit. And it will be nice and warm when October rolls around and you're walking down the street with your kids or grandkids. And uh, it'll be nice. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up, clean up the neck hole, make it rounder, and I'll show you how to, to do the seams, and then, then I'll come back and paint it. Here's the neck hole. You can see it's a little bit oblong, so we're going to kind of round out the edges a little bit before we get started on mapping out the hemline. I'm going to eyeball this. This is how I do this. If you want to be exact, exact and scientific, you can. I understand that because I worked as a scientist for many years. But I, I like to approach my art by just kind of winging it. So I'm going to cut off. You can kind of see I'm sort of trying to round this out here. So I'll go around and round that out. And then you'll see how I do my hems. This is the neck hole. I cleaned it up a little bit. I had some kind of sharp corners here. And I want to sort of avoid that, kind of make it a little bit more curved. But you'll notice that this is the back of the neck hole. And so this is the, the part that's facing the back of the poncho. And here's my butterfly. You notice it's kind of off center. The center of the neck hole is right here, but the butterfly is kind of off center. That's okay. I mean, you know, nothing is perfect. And so now, now that I've got the neck hole kind of carved out, I want to be able to uh, roll this under for a hand rolled seam. And so what I do is I kind of cut little notches, like about five or six little notches around the corner here. And I cut them with my scissors like halfway up, spaced about, a, about an inch apart. This helps my, seam, my neck seam, kind of my neck hem sort of give a little bit when I do the hand rolled seams. I do hand rolled seams. This poncho will probably take me, I'm going to guess, about seven or eight hours to do a hand rolled seam. But I feel like it's worth it, especially when you're talking about a pure silk garment and how it affects the drape. And I've discussed that in other videos about how it affects the drape. So I've got, I've got several notches cut out of this side, and I've got several notches cut out of this side. The initial size of this hole was, when I folded it in halves and then halves again, was two and a half by five. So the hole theoretically should be about five inches wide and about ten inches of ten inches wide and about five inches um, high so that's what your neck hole is going to look like and then you cut these notches halfway down where you've marked it so I've marked I've marked with a pencil very briefly very lightly about I'm going to say five eighths of an inch around for a seam and I will show you how to do the hand rolled hems next. Okay, I don't have a full length mirror. 
um, but I wanted to explain to you exactly how I'm going to do the seams of this dress. Um, and it's not a dress anymore, it's going to be a poncho, and the reason why is because I want these um, to flow free. So you're going to have to wear something underneath this, um, which is kind of a given. If I made it into a dress, I could put a seam right down the middle here to kind of close this off, but I think that it will affect the flow of the butterfly. So I want to leave that flowing free. You see how these um, corners will hang down a little bit lower than the rest of it, but I think that works really well for these wings. So I'm just going to leave it square. Uh, and so I'm going to have my, hole, my neck hole, and then I'm going to leave these, make this into a poncho, leave these seams free uh, to hang like this. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. That's my plan. Let's see how it's, see if it sticks. <laughs>